Hi, I'm Carla Buderak and welcome to Behavior Communicates. I have a resource for you today that I wish I had when I was growing up and when my own children needed some specific explanations for math. It's called Math TV. It's like having your own private tutor, except that you even get to choose who you want to learn from. Take a look at this. Okay, so just go to www.mathtv.com and this is what comes up. You see all the instructors at the top and over here under select a topic, you can choose what kind of math computations or problems you want to learn. So let's take a look at subtracting with Mr. McKeek. Okay, here we have a subtraction problem. We want to subtract uh, 241 from 376, so we'll just line up the columns. Here I have 376. From that, I'm going to subtract 241. And now I'll just subtract in columns. One, uh, 6 subtract 1 is going to be 5. 7 subtract 4 will be 3. And then 3 subtract 2 will be 1. So 135 is the answer to subtract 376 minus 241. Now if I want to check my work, I can add 135 and 241 and see if I get 376. So 5 and 1 is 6, 3 and 4 is 7, 1 and 2 is 3. So a quick check shows that, in fact, that is the answer, 135. Okay. Each one of these uh, problems has at least three or four instructors, and there's even a Spanish version. All right, let's take a look at fractions. Let's do adding and subtracting, and let's watch Molly teach us. In this example, we want to add or subtract each of these fractions. When you add or subtract fractions, you always have to make sure that the denominators are the same. So in this case, they're both 8. In example B, they're both 5. In example C, they're both 7. So we don't have to reduce anything. So when adding fractions, we keep the denominator the same. So we keep it as an 8. And then we add the numerators. So 3 plus 1 is 4. And then this can reduce to 1 half. In example what I've found actually is that each instructor has a slightly different way of teaching the material and your child gets to decide who they can best learn from and choose their instructor. So let's just look at one more. Let's go to geometry and look at similar figures and proportions. And let's take a look at Ariel. Here are practice problem three. We're given one triangle and then we're given two points on the plane for a part of the second triangle. They would like us to figure out a triangle that is proportional to ABC. We're going to let the third vertex stand for E. So we know that E will be somewhere up over here just like B is. Now they give us that AC is corresponds or is proportional to GI. So we know that. GI is proportional to AC, which means that if we have BC, we know if we're letting E stand for the third vertex, EI will be proportional to BC. Now we also know that AC is 1, 2, 3 squares apart, and GI is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 squares apart. We're not sure what EI is, but we know that BC is 1, 2, 3, 4 squares apart. So we'll let X stand for EI. Now we have original problem. X over 4 equals 6 over 3. We'll cross multiply. This will give us 3X equals 24. We'll divide by 3 x will give us 8. That means we know that EI is 8 squares apart, so that will probably be, it'll be somewhere up over here. Then we know we'll have our E, we'll count 8 squares up, and then we'll have our third triangle once we connect the dots. Okay, and again, as you can see under select a topic, there is everything from basic math all the way down to calculus. And the nice thing is, not only does your child get to choose what teacher 
to teach a lesson, but they can watch it over and over again. Check this out. I think you're going to love it. Thank you so much for joining me here at Behavior Communicates, where I help you create a life for you and your child or your student, where you both get what you really want and what you really need. If you like this video, leave a comment below and share it with all your friends on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and all your other social media. And if you haven't signed up yet for Behavior Communicates, get on over there and sign up. You'll get my weekly blog and video and other resources that I only share with my subscribers. Take care and I will see you next time.